Kurt! Kurt! No, I don't believe this. He's gone. Quinn was right. How could I be so stupid? I let the lizard escape. Oh. Sorry. I left to go... to go see my family. I found them. Martha and Billy. In the backyard. I just... hid there. Watching. Peter. My God, what happened to you? What happened? Thanks to your antidote, not only is Dr. Smythe crippled, but now I'm afraid he's gonna hurt Gwen. That's what happened. But... my antidote shouldn't interfere with this. Well, it did interfere. It interfered real bad. He can't walk anymore. You told me it would work. I said, theoretically. Theoretically? This is not a science project. People's lives are at stake. Are you the Lizard or Kirk Connors? Tell me! If you are seriously asking me that question, maybe you should have just left me at the asylum. Gwen is still back there. Do you know what's gonna happen if she changes? I did my best! <clears throat> we'll save her! We will! You're bleeding. So what? You're tired. You need to lie down. No. I need to save Gwen. I need to save everybody. Peter, you need rest. I can't stop. I, 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 I've got to... Sleep, Peter. I'm going to finish this. Just sleep. How can it be that you never got infected? Wait. You, you are the answer, Peter Parker. What's this? No, no. Yes. <laughs> Can it be that simple? No. Verify the data, Doctor. Verify the data. Unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. I'm coming. Easy. Are you all right? I... How long was I asleep? Long enough for me to complete the antidote. Antidote? Yes. A new cure. A perfect antidote. How do you know? The answer was you. Your blood, Peter. Suddenly, I realized that you are the perfect cross-species. Whatever it is about your blood that keeps you from transforming completely, that's what makes you unique. Your human side never gave way to the spider. It's done. So, you're ready to play God. How soon can you have it ready? It's ready. Peter, you've got to help me. Where are you? They brought us in the biolabs facility. Smythe's still trying to finish his work on his own serum. A, a serum with nanobots. They wanted us to be the first test subjects when it was done, and I, I ran. I got away, but I'm stuck here. I'm coming to get you. Connors has a new antidote. Is everybody together? Oh, the robots took them downstairs. Where's Smythe? I, I don't know. I can hear his robots. I, I think Just stay put, okay? Hurry, Pete. I don't know how long I can stay out of sight. Wait a sec. Gwen! What's happening? Gwen! Talk to me! Are you alright? Peter! I'm losing the it's, signal! It's... Gwen! You know, um, just to kind of end this video, I gotta say that the Peter in this game, or maybe the Amazing Spider-Man as a whole, is pretty clueless about science and clueless about photography and things like that. I mean, he doesn't like it. I mean, that isn't isn't that like the general thing to Spider-Man and Peter Parker when you you watch Spider-Man? I guess they're kind of reinventing Spider-Man in a way because. Spider-Man is supposed to be kind of geeky. He's supposed to be into science. I mean, him and Co Kirk Connors should be like, I don't know, really good friends knowing, hey, exactly, you know, what you need to use to solve this 
problem on a scientific level, yada yada, and things like that. But he is clueless. He is like sitting there like, yeah, I'm just going to believe in you. Anyways, yeah, that's what I'm thinking because that's what I'm feeling right now because I just watched that little clip and it it just shows he is so he he is so clueless that he's getting mad over Connors for not providing an antidote all right so anyways that is about it for this video i will see you in the next